Hello students my name is Alok Semwal and in today's lecture I am going to discuss about adsorption and partition chromatography In this topic I will discuss introduction principle methodology advantages and disadvantages of following chromatographic techniques So first of all what is chromatography Chromatography is an analytical technique commonly used for separating a mixture of chemical substances into its individual components so that the individual components can be thoroughly analyzed Components in a mixture have different tendencies to adsorb onto a surface or dissolve in a solvent All chromatographic methods require one static part which is called as a stationary phase and one moving part which is known as mobile phase. The mixture is dissolved in a fluid such as gas, solvent or water called the mobile phase which carries it through a system such as a column, a capillary tube, a plate or a sheet on which is fixed a material called the stationary phase there are many types of chromatographic techniques which can be classified according to their principles first one adsorption chromatography second partition chromatography third ion exchange chromatography and fourth size exclusion chromatography In this lecture we will discuss about adsorption and partition chromatography. So first of all adsorption chromatography. In adsorption chromatography stationary phase used is solid in nature while liquid or gaseous mobile phase is used. Each solute component has its own equilibrium between adsorption onto the surface of the solid and solubility in the solvent. The least soluble or best adsorbed ones travel more slowly. The result is a separation into bands containing different solutes. Here separation is based on the adsorption of solute onto the surface of solid stationary phase. Examples of adsorption chromatographic techniques include column chromatography, thin layer chromatography, and high performance liquid chromatography. This diagram is showing the complete process of column chromatography. Column chromatography works in following steps. Step 1 In step 1 mobile phase or solvent is selected it may be either solvent or solvent mixture then stationary phase is made wet with the solvent on this stage the compound mixture what needed to be separated are added from the top of the column step 2 then the solvent or a suitable solvent mixture is added by touching the side of the glass column step 3 when the tap of the column is on the components in the compound mixture move along with the solvent depending on the polarity of the sample molecule and thus separated then the different components are collected at different time intervals advantages of adsorption chromatography in adsorption chromatography we can use a wide range of mobile phases for the separation of compounds it is an important method to separate many components that are tough to be separated by other chromatographic techniques complex mixtures of samples can be easily separated by this method an assembly used in this technique is very simple 
Now disadvantages of adsorption chromatography. In some cases, obtained result from some methods of adsorption chromatography are complex to reproduce. Some solutes take longer retention time to separate. And automation of this technique is more complicated and costlier. Next is partition chromatography. In partition chromatography, a non-volatile liquid is used as a stationary phase, while mixture to be separated is carried by gas or liquid as mobile phase. Solutes distribute themselves between the moving and the stationary phases. The more soluble component remains in the mobile phase and tend to reach the end of chromatography column first. In this technique, solutes are separated based on their partition between a liquid mobile phase and a liquid stationary phase coated on a solid support. Following diagram is showing partition of solute particles in between mobile phase and stationary phase. Generally, two types of partition chromatographic techniques are available. First, normal phase chromatography and second is reverse phase chromatography. In normal phase chromatography, stationary phase is more polar than the mobile phase, while in reverse phase chromatography, analyte is polar organic and stationary phase is less polar than the mobile phase. Advantages of partition chromatography The partition chromatography technique can isolate organic as well as inorganic compounds. It saves time because in a short duration it can separate several compounds. This technique provides high efficiency and also provide accurate results. Selectivity is better in partition chromatography because a mobile phase can be simply changed. Now disadvantages of partition chromatography. Partition chromatography sometimes uses higher volume of the mobile phase for separation. Data cannot be stored long in certain types of partition chromatography techniques. Automation has made it more difficult and costly. In gas liquid chromatography, only volatile compounds can be separated. Following are the references of this lecture. Thank you.